more than 8 million households across the UK, including 686,000 in Scotland, will receive the final part of the £900 means-tested cost of living payment next month. The £299 payment will be made automatically to people on eligible benefits from the Department for Work and Pensions DWP, between February 6 and 22, 2024 and to those on tax credits only from Home Revenue and Customs HMRC, between February 16 and 22, 2024. To get the £299 from DWP, you need to have been entitled to a payment for a qualifying benefit between November 13 and December 12, 2023, or payment for an assessment period, ending between these dates. To qualify for the £299 payment from HMRC, people on tax credits only must have received a payment of tax credits in respect of any day in the period November 13 to December 12, 2023 or later be paid in respect of any day in this period. The money will be paid into the account where the benefit is usually paid and appear as either DWP call, or HMRC calls, along with the claimant's national insurance number. All payments will be made automatically, nobody needs to apply or contact DWP or HMRC before the scheduled window opens. People over state pension age and £299 payment The DWP is encouraging low-income pensioners not already getting pension credit to check their eligibility for the benefit, as they could still qualify for the £299 cost of living payment if they make a new claim before March 5th which later turns out to be successful. This is because it is a retrospective benefit that can be backdated by up to three months, which would take any new claims to within the qualifying period, November 13 to December 12. Pension credit can boost annual income by more than £3,900 and open the door to additional financial support for housing costs, council tax, heating bills and free TV licenses for the over 75s. The benefit currently tops up income to a minimum of £201.05 per week for single pensioners and £306.85 for couples, more if a person has a disability or caring responsibilities. From April 2024, the payments will increase to £218.15 per week for single pensioners and £332. 95 for couples. Who should check for pension credit? If you are over state pension age, you may be eligible for pension credit if your weekly income is less than £240. 90 if you are single £351.45 If you are a couple people can check eligibility for pension credit using the online calculator on Gov. UK here or by calling the Pension Credit Helpline on 0800 1234. Just be aware, the phone line opening hours may be different this week due to New Year bank holidays. £299 cost of living payment in a nutshell below is everything you need to know about the £299 cost of living payment including eligible benefits, qualifying periods, joint claims and nil awards. When is the £299 cost of living payment due? The third and final part of the £900 means tested cost of living payment support will be made between February 6, 2024, February 22, 2024, for eligible claimants on qualifying benefits from DWP February 16, 2024, February 22, 2024, for eligible claimants on tax credits only from HMRC if you're getting both child tax credit and working tax credit, you will receive a cost of living payment for child tax credit only, which will be paid by HMRC. 
If you're getting tax credits from HMRC and a low income benefit from DWP, you cannot get a cost of living payment from both HMRC and DWP. You will usually be paid by DWP only. Qualifying periods for all eligible benefits to get the £299 payment someone must, subject to a very limited exception, have been entitled to a payment of a qualifying benefit as follows, for universal credit, payment for an assessment period ending between November 13, 2023 to December 12, 2023 for all other DWP means tested benefits. Payment in respect of any day between November 13, 2023 to December 12, 2023 for HMRC tax credits only customers. A payment of tax credits in respect of any day in the period November 13, 2023 to December 12, 2023 or later be paid in respect of any day in this period who needs to claim the £299 payment? Nobody needs to apply for the £299 cost of living payment, the money will arrive automatically to eligible claimants in receipt of a qualifying benefit. If a household becomes retrospectively entitled to a cost of living payment or believe they are entitled but do not receive one before the payment window closes, they can report this via Gov. UK from February 23, 2024. Qualifying benefits for £299 cost of living payment This will be paid to eligible households receiving the following benefits, universal credit income based job seekers allowance income related employment and support allowance income support pension credit working tax credit, paid by HMRC if no other DWP means tested benefit is also claimed child tax credit. Paid by HMRC if no other DWP means tested benefit is also claimed benefits that do not qualify for £299 payment you will not get a payment if you are only getting, new style employment and support allowance, ESA, contributions based ESA new style job seekers allowance, JSA, single and joint claims much like the previous means tested cost of living payments, the money will be paid per claim. This means joint claimants will receive one payment. For joint tax credits claimants, where one claimant receives working tax credit and the other claimant receives child tax credit, payments will be made into the same bank account as the child tax credit. Get the latest record money news Join the conversation on our Money Saving Scotland Facebook group for energy and money saving tips, the latest benefits news, consumer help and advice on coping with the cost of living crisis. Sign up to our record money newsletter and get the top stories sent to your inbox daily from Monday to Friday, including a special cost of living edition on a Thursday, sign up here. You can also follow us on X, formerly Twitter, at recordmoney underscore for regular updates throughout the day. Universal Credit Mill Awards You will not be eligible for the £299 cost of living payment if your universal credit is reduced to £0 for the qualifying assessment period, often referred to as a Mill Award. Guidance on Gov. UK explains, you will not be eligible for the cost of living payment if your benefit is reduced to £0 for the qualifying period. Reasons your benefit may be reduced to £0 include, you got more than one payment of earnings in your universal credit assessment period your or your partner's earnings went up your or your partner's savings went up you started getting another benefit you got a sanction because you did not do something you agreed in your claimant commitment you may still be eligible for a cost of living payment if your benefit is reduced to £0 and one of the following applies, money was taken off your benefit for other reasons such as payments of rent to your landlord or for money you owe you had a hardship payment because you got a sanction and could not pay for rent, heating, food or hygiene needs those on DWP benefits other than universal credit who are entitled to less than 10 pence and meet all other qualifying criteria but who do not receive a benefit payment, will still receive a cost of living payment. 
Full details about the cost of living payments 2023-24 can be found on Gov. UK here. Join the Daily Records WhatsApp community here and get the latest news sent straight to your messages.